Time for question four answer. Understanding order 30. Honorable member for Chinsali. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Question number 248. The Honorable Minister of Housing and Infrastructure Development. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Member of Parliament for Chinsari. would like to find out from the Ministry of Housing and Infrastructure Development a question in four parts. But A, when the construction of 47 kilometer access road in Chinsari district will commence. B, what has caused the delay in commencing the project? C, when the construction of 15 kilometer Ashford concrete dual carriageway from Namuluma to Central Business District will commence, and D, what has caused the delay in commencing the project? In our response, Mr. Speaker, is as follows. On A, the completion of the 47-kilometer access road in Chinsadi District will commence once funds have been secured and procurement of the works has been concluded. B, project commencement is delayed due to financing constraints. C, construction of the 15-kilometer Ashford and concrete dual carriageway from Nambula to the central business district will commence once funds have been secured and procurement of the works contractor has been concluded. And D, project commencement has been delayed again due to funding constraints. I thank you. Honorable Member for Chinsali. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Minister, I want to find out. You have stated that uh, the, the two projects are only going to commence upon av availability of uh, funds. And in your response to the question that was raised by Honorable Member for Nakonde, you have stated, uh, you have given reasons as to why you cannot use the savings that were made on the Chinsali Nakonde project to uh, to be applied on this uh, Nambuluma to uh, Chinsali CBD uh, project. So I want to find out, have you been in discussion with the Minister of Finance to find out when likely he is going to find the money that is going to be used to um, uh, facilitate the implementation of these two very serious important projects in Chinsali. That is the construction of the geo carriage asphalt concrete road from Nambuluma to Chinsali post office, and also the 47 kilometers access roads in Chinsali. If so, you have been in the discussions with the Minister of Finance. What has been his response regarding this matter? Mr. Speaker, I thank you. Honorable Minister. Mr. Speaker, we're in constant engagement with the Minister of Finance on issues to do with roads. And in fact, the Minister of Finance urged us to prioritize our projects um, uh, so that they could then look for financing that will support uh, those prioritized projects between us and the Minister of Local Government. And we've done that priority list. Uh, Mr. Speaker, that road, I can confirm, that has been included. However, uh, a priority list is just a wish list. It now depends on the Minister of Finance to be able to raise those funds that will meet the priority list or not. If they find everything, then um, we'll be happy that all the roads will be done that we have prioritized. If they are not able to find to fundraise for everything that is required, then we'll have to rely on our initiatives such as to vary funds from the Nakonde uh, project and if we succeed in convincing African Development Bank to return funds there rather than take them to COVID fight. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.